are three different types of staging. One is the consultation, which is when the stager walks through the house with the homeowner and sometimes the realtor and points out room by room what they need to change in order to make it more appealing to buyers. And that could be paint, that could be wall coverings, it could be uh, floor coverings, it could be just decluttering. The second type of staging is virtual staging, where if you have a vacant home, someone can use sophisticated software to drop in furniture and accessories so that online it will look like a furnished home. The problem with that is that when the buyer comes in, they may be a little disappointed because they come into an empty house and it's not the same as when you see it online and it's furnished. So about 20% of the population can visualize. That means 80% of the population cannot visualize. So I think that it's always a great idea to stage. So you get an emotional response from the buyer when they walk in and see the home already furnished with couches and sofas and beds so that they can see their own stuff in the house and visualize themselves living in the home. The third thing is actual staging, which is more like this, where we come in or a stager comes in and fully furnishes a house. Now that doesn't mean every single room in the house, but the main rooms, so that there's an emotional response to buyers when they walk in the house. They can see the way that it can be laid out and uh, they can get their own ideas of where they're gonna put their things in the house.